I'm settling down. My text go to screen. You know better than that. I come around when you least expect me. I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty. You thinking that the song's coming on and What's going on, Clan Fam? It is official. NBA 2K22 is here. And we're going to hop right on into this thing. I know my GM no longer exists. It's now my NBA. Have no idea why they did that, why they thought that was a good idea at all. But you know what? We're going to give them the benefit of the doubt here. We're going to try this shit out. I, I read that there's going to be three new expansion teams. So you know what? First rebuild of the year is going to be an expansion team, a new expansion team. So let's check these things out real fast. Um, let's go through these options. Uh, da, da, da. Customize league. We're going to go ahead and hit that. Custom roster. No, I'm not going to worry about any of that right now. Advanced CBA. We are turning this crappy ass Stapian rule off. You're donezo. It's over. 30, 60 day. Whatever. You're done as well. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Okay, so there is a New York team. The Bronx Brawlers. I like that. Might have to go with that one. Omaha Airmen. I don't think anybody's going to want to play in Nebraska um, or come to Nebraska to watch our games. Honolulu Breeze. Interesting. We're just going to go with the Bronx Brawlers. Okay, so we could pick multiple teams if we wanted to. I'm not going to do that. Roster. Nothing right now. No playoff appearances, no NBA championships. We are a true expansion franchise. Johnny York is the epitome of a hands-off governor. You can pretty much run the team however you want to with him in charge, and it'll take some major effort on your part to get him to fire you. Well, sign me up for that, Johnny York. You sound like the perfect owner. So I can basically do whatever the hell I want. Oh, Chris Middleton is available? What? Why? All right, Drew Holiday as well. Okay, so we might be uh, we might be drafting the best available player. Usually, the first year I just completely throw, but if they're letting guys like this go, if worse comes to worse, we can just use him as trade bait, I guess. Um, so there you go, 88 overall. That's crazy to me. Well, Clint Capella, 87 overall. Yes, please. Let's go ahead and draft our starting lineup right now. Um, Michael Porter Jr. can play the two. Welcome to the squad. I mean, our five, three, and two right now, all 84 and above. Kyle Lowry can run the point for us. I mean, this team, we're looking like an all-star team right now. So uh, I'm coming up with a name. This guy just looks like a pop pop. You know, he looks like your grandpa. He looks like he looks like someone. Of, he looks like he's in your family, but he also looks like a fucking mob boss. So Pop Pop is the new GM of the Bronx Brawlers. He looks like a freaking Bronx Brawler, dude. He looks like he grew up and was a part of the mafia. Badges. Uh, so he's definitely a bully. He's definitely a gambler. He probably ran his own sports. He's probably a bookie back in the day. Passive. No. Grizzled? Yes. He's definitely not a snake. Um, you can't be a snake in the Mafia or you're fucked. Recruiter? Yes. Gold? Wingman? Yes. Former GM? I mean, he is a GM already, so loose lips? Hell no. Coaching? Not worried about that. Scouting? No. Sports medicine? What? What is this? Um, he's definitely a sleep doctor. He'll put you to sleep, for sure. Experimenter, no. Relentless, definitely. Um, tough love, yes. Opportunist, yes. Alright, so it looks good. Power rank, our team is fifth right now. That's pretty damn good just drafting. Let's take a look at our lineup right now. We got Marcus Smart at the two. Why? For what reason? Put Michael Porter in there. That makes a whole hell of a lot more sense than Marcus Smart. And then we'll move RJ Barrett to the six. We're gonna keep that. And we're gonna go ahead and go in here to the roster. And Michael Porter, you're now shooting guard, dude. Can we look at our staff real fast? All right, we got Pop Pop. This is the general manager. Assistant GM is Alexander Lin Lydon. 
Blyden. Okay, and Cam Terrell is the CFO. He looks, I mean, everything looks good. Coaching, Ron Hill. Y you already know who I'm getting, man. I'm getting the man, the myth, the legend, Michael Stauffer. I'm going to fire him harshly. Your performance has been unacceptable, to put it mildly. We're letting you go. Effective immediately. Capiche? You ever think the problem might be the players you handpicked and not the coach? You look a lot like Mike Wang. You know, from uh, 2K. Or Mike Wong. It's, I think his name's actually Mike Wong. People just call him Mike Wang. Anyways. Player morale went down. I don't give a shit. Coaching? You already know. Michael Stauffa. Look at his... These five stars all around. Charisma, analytics, legwork, influence, organizing. Everything's five stars. And he accepted our offer. You're damn right he did. I gave him an offer he couldn't refuse. I'm, I'm trying to do a little bit of a gangster accent. I don't know if it's coming off very well. I'm trying, all right? I'm trying. Meeting with the team doctor. We'll see what the team doctor has to say. Hey, Todd, I've got something small to chat with you about. No problem. What's up? God, dude, get rid of that shirt. It's making me nauseous. It's a terrible pattern. Uh, so it seems like some guys are working too hard in the gym, and some guys not hard enough. Can we uh, balance that out a little bit? It's because we've already discussed their goals and plans. It's frustrating when you have a very superficial idea of what goes on and try to act like you know something. All right, you little prick. About to have cinder blocks tied to your ankles and I'm gonna throw you out into the ocean. Change staff. Yep, I'm gonna have to do that. Goodbye. Goodbye, uh, team doctor. You're gone. See ya, buddy. You're doing a terrible job of maintaining our players' health. We're letting you go, Todd. Real classy, Pop. I can see why you're a GM now. It suits you. All right, where's the trade deadline? Trade deadline is right here. So I will go ahead, we'll head there, and see how we do. Okay, so we are at the trade deadline. Apparently, power rank, we're first. Right now, I don't see any trades that I really want to make. This team is pretty damn good. We're solid from top to bottom. We got a lot of 80 overalls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eighty overalls. And we're number two. Pop Pop is number two on the power rankings. John Wall, I wouldn't mind re-signing John Wall. Let's go ahead and talk to him real fast. I just don't know if we have any money. My agent and I are looking for a three-year, $53.49 million deal. Does that work for you? That's a lot of freaking money, John. Um, let me lowball him a little bit. I'll give you a 48. I don't even have enough money. I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but I'm not at a point where I'm ready to discuss your contract with you. Let's table this for a later date. I really love it here, Pop, and I'd love to work something out, but I don't see myself taking an offer like that. It's not realistic. What? Bro, all I said was let's meet at a, at a different time. Relax, my dude. All right, we got a trade offer from the Raptors. Hey there, Pop. We've got a trade here for you. Are you interested? Yeah, I don't know why you came all the way to New York to, uh, I am not taking that deal. Give me a break. Malachi Flynn and OG on Anobi? No. Talk with John Wall? All right, we can do that. Let's have a little conversation. Hey, Pop, I'd like to talk about working out. I just told you, I just... I just went upstairs to talk to the Raptors GM, came back down, you're still staying here? John, you gotta go on, dude. You want the truth? You don't wanna be extended right now. Your game can reach another level, and if you finish the season strong, you'll be in a position to make a lot more money than if I extend you now. I'm never back down from a challenge, and I'm gonna give you no choice but to show me the bag this summer. All right, John, I'm probably not gonna have enough money for you, my guy. So the season is over. Joel B is your MVP. Okay. Evan Mobley with the Cavaliers, Rookie of the Year. Kelly Olynyk, Sixth Man of the Year. Kawhi Leonard, Defensive Player of the Year. Michael Porter, Most Approved Player. Scoring 14 points a game, 5 rebounds, almost averaged an assist a game, and 1 block a game. Chauncey Billups doesn't even respect the award enough 
to get his picture taken, Jonathan Ship, Executive of the Year, 59 and 23, earns you that award nowadays. All right. I figured, you know, you had to be a little bit better than that, but all right. First team, your, your usual suspects. Second team, okay. Third team, I don't see any Bronx, I don't see any Bronx, Bronx, Bronx Brawlers. I keep wanting to say Bronx Ballers, which would probably be a cooler name. And I'm not seeing any Bronx Brawlers on here. Well, that sucks. All right, whatever. Let's go ahead and simulate the play-in, because no one cares. All right, so we're the two seed. We're playing the Chicago Bulls, my favorite team. How do we do stats-wise? John Wall led the way, and of course, Michael Porter Jr. is out for four to six weeks. Awesome. We're taking on the Chicago Bulls. Simulate game one. We win. They got a pretty solid team, though. Levine, Vucevic, DeRozan, Caruso, Kobe White, Lonzo Ball. Uh, yeah. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. Let's sweep them. Of course not. 2K hates me. And we win game five. So we are in the semifinals as an expansion team. Year freaking one. And we got the Boston Celtics. Who do they have? Probably, yeah, Jason Tatum. That's about it. Well, they got, okay, I forgot about Schroeder. What's his contract looking like? Oh, yeah, $5 million when he could have had, I don't even remember what the number was. He fumbled the bag there. We win game one. Lose game two. Nice. Lose game three. Awesome. Win game four. That's a surprise. Lose game five. And we lose game six. Of course. Lakers sweep the Nets in the finals. LeBron James wins his fifth NBA championship. Great. Rookie signing. I'm not going to sign Mel Fox because I just, I, I don't need him. Team player options. We're going to accept RJ Barrett's player option. I don't know why I wouldn't. John Wall accepted his player option. So he's probably going to be on the block, I would imagine. I don't think we have enough money to sign anybody. So I think we're basically going to keep the same team that we have this year. I'm not renouncing his rights, and I'm not renouncing Carmelo. Actually, I'll let Carmelo walk. But I, I'm, I'm not renouncing uh, Michael Porter Jr. That doesn't make any sense. Who the fuck is this? Eric Steele. 98 overall? What? Seven foot two? Am I missing something here? Who are these people? Are these all like G Leaguers? What is going on? He's from Illinois? Huh? I don't remember this guy ever playing for Illinois. Trent Franklin, Portland State? Henry Newton, what is happening? AJ Cox, what a name. He wants $35 million, he's 23. Who, who are these guys? Am I missing something here? Do we have 35? Shit, if we have $35 million, I'm gonna have to make a move here. Thanks for taking this meeting, Eric. I'll get right to it. We wanna make you a member of the Bronx Brawlers. You're exactly what we need. How much money? Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to insult him with that offer. All right, so we... Am I about to do this? Am I about to be dumb? And This might be some cheese. All right, you know what? I'm going to do it for the first rebuild of the year. I'm going to... We're going to pull off some cheese here. But if this ends up being like a, a completely cheesy thing, I'm not going to do it anymore after this. You fucker!